Yo, this video is brought to you by YourNextRewards.com. Find out how you can start building a monthly recurring income simply by showing people how to save money and get cash back every time they shop. Check it out for yourself. First link in the description. All right, I just watched Pray for the Devil. All right, this came out in 2022. And I wanna say real quick, the title of this movie is dope, right? If you really think about it, because when you hear it, it's like pray for the devil, but really look at the way pray is spelled, right? P-R-E-Y instead of P-R-A. It's just dope, right? I, I love the title off rip. Anyway, let's jump straight into this movie and what I think about it, all right? What is pray for the devil about, all right? It's about this girl after losing her mom, you know what I'm saying? She decides to go uh, become a nun for whatever reason. And what's that place called where you go? I forget, like nun school or whatever, preschool, nun school, I forget what they call it. But anyway, she goes there and she starts studying like exorcisms and everything. And I think she's doing that because of like what happened to her mom or whatever, right? Because her mom kind of was like, cuckoo, right? Cuckoo. So she goes to the, you know what I'm saying? She go to this nun school and everything, start studying exorcisms. So it's one particular uh, uh, girl in the actual place that's there for like treatment, like a little girl who's there for to like to get an exorcism or some shit like that. And the girl who goes there, you know, to be a nun, she feels this weird connection with this girl. She's kind of like, I really want to save this girl. Right. I really want to like help her. Right. So come to find out. Well, no, nah, I can't say that because I ruined the movie. I ain't going to say nothing. Right. So I'll just leave it at that. The girl who's going to become a nun, she feels like this, this, this urge to really help this little girl. All right. So I'm going to tell you, that's basically what it's about. So what did I think about this movie overall? Uh, I liked it. All right. I did. I did. I did. And I ain't going to lie to you. I'm kind of tired of all of the damn exorcism movies. How many times? Can we see motherfuckers get possessed? I don't know, right? But there's tons of them out there. So I was very hesitant about watching the movie because I'm like, here we go again. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Shit's crazy out here in these streets, right? But I'm like, you know, I still wanted to watch it because it, it had the trailer looked good, but I wasn't, you know, impressed with the whole possession stuff. But overall, I was like, it wasn't that bad, right? So the next question is, is this movie scary, right? Because it is a horror movie. And I will say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Could it have been scarier? Yeah, it could have been scarier, but it did have some jump scenes. Actually, the beginning of the movie was pretty kind of scary, kind of like, oh shit, like what, what's this, right? Uh, and they had a couple little jump jump scares. My wife was jumping like, like 10 times. I'm looking at her like, Come on, that ain't really, you know what I'm saying? But it did have a couple little jump scares in it. Um, and I will say they have a little twist in the movie that I did like near the end. Uh, that's why I couldn't talk too early at, at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? But I like the little twist that they give you at the end. And overall, I thought it was a dope movie. You know what I'm saying? I was originally going to get us a three out of five. But once I really thought about it, and considering there's not a lot of good ass horror movies out there recently, like, you know what? This is a four. You know what I'm saying? If I was to say anything about it, I would say I think it could have been a little scarier and it could have been a little longer, in my opinion. It just seemed like they kind of went from the beginning and the next thing I know, I'm like, damn, it's just like, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, it was just like over. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's just me. But I feel like it could have been a little longer and a little scarier. All right. But with all that being said, if you haven't seen Pray for the Devil yet, I would highly recommend you check it out. And if you have seen this movie, comment below and let me know what you think.